Breaking how news energetic on WFLA things now. are affected us. We're affected Funeral. by this energy, Major even if it's this evening. so many light years away or if it's right here. Chat, they're not live yet. They're, they're not going to go live on time, are they? Oh, fuck, they are. It was last seen a bodily. A oh, body wait, never mind. They're not. been found during today's search efforts. Hey there, folks. Let's JBP go, dude, JB. On WFLA. Now, let's show you our live Woo. feed from Grand Teton National Park. You can let's see here. Let's go. Is, JB's going to describe to us what the fucking window uh, is washed with, dude. Uh, one minute away here, at least from the scheduled press conference time, the scheduled press conference for 6 o'clock Eastern. Five. Sorry, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, we are excited to see our boy JB, JB Biuno, uh, who is just the absolute fucking legend. But also at the same time, like someone probably someone died and they found the body. So let's just like, let's just fucking, you know, let's just dial it back. Okay. It's hard. It's hard not to get excited when we see our boy uh, JB, you know, on the ones and twos, just absolutely fucking destroying it. Just doing a, a freaking awesome job. Um, you know, JB takes no shits. Okay, JB will tell you when it's the top of the hour and there's a 60 second ad break. JB will tell you, you can avoid those ads if you subscribe. A press conference has been called here <laughs> pertaining to an update in Gabby Petito's disappearance as we understand it. And so we're moments away here from finding out what that update is. And again, the coroner's office reporting that a body has been found. So sticking to the facts here, that's what we know here at this time. Uh, you can hear some of the chatter coming in here, folks. We're live a little bit early, even though we were live about two or so minutes before the top of the hour here. Uh, oh, we went live a little bit early here. and He said it! Press conference hasn't gotten underway here. Why are we live a little bit early? Because it takes time for, of course, all the shares and everything to occur on social media, all the retweets to occur. Why is he describing so, this? Uh, we were live a little bit earlier on today for the search for Brian Laundry, And people were asking at that time, what's going on in Wyoming? What's going on in Wyoming? This is what was going on in Wyoming. I wanna keep the press conference here on screen. Well, we've got some drone footage going on. So let's go. uh, left side of the screen here, folks, is the podium. We're waiting for that press conference to get underway here momentarily. When it starts, we go full screen, we listen in, we find out what this update is. On the right side of your screen, these are search efforts. Uh, in, what is in going Wyoming, on in Wyoming, uh, dude? Real coverage of that search effort uh, that was underway today here. So Grand Teton National Park. Um, there you can see some of the cars there uh, that, that, were, that were parked uh, going through some of the areas here that had been uh, mentioned as possible possible locations Let's as to Debbie where to that white van that had been located. So the search efforts were underway here. We've, we've had simultaneous search efforts here, folks. Simultaneous. Because right now, and it still stands this way at eight this moment, we have months. a dual missing persons case for this engaged couple uh, that left on July 2nd from New York in that white Ford van going across the country, posting on social media. The couple, of course, being Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry. Brian Laundry being, of course, Gabby's fiance and the person of interest in this case. Uh, Brian Laundry is missing. And we were live, <laughs> excuse me, we were live earlier on today with a update as to the search efforts. And right now, um, the search area in Florida where Brian Laundrie could possibly be, again, seen uh, leaving on Tuesday in hiking gear or said to be said to have left um, family on Tuesday with hiking gear. Um, the area where he is, is said to be is so vast and expansive. But it is a fraction the of the size country. of the area that is Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. So we're about to get an update here, folks. Uh, thanks for spending a portion of your evening here uh, with us. Let's, I haven't even looked too much here at some of the folks that are... Uh, JB, give us the attention, dude. What the fuck? We need it from you, Jay. ...platforms here, and I can see... Hello to our YouTube audience. Hello to our Twitter audience. Hello to our Facebook audience. Uh, a reminder here, folks, I've been live here uh, pretty much the last... All right, I got some fucking crazy shit for you from Brian Enton, okay? The Red, White, and Bethune family bloggers were uh, giving me permission to share this video. The family says they were driving around Grand Teton National Park around 6 p.m. August 27th and spotted Gabby Petito's van. They were just going through the old videos we and they saw the van. We actually weren't able to find any sites and we ended up driving back through, saw it again. But here it is on the left, so. And I slowed it down so you can possibly see it a little bit better. But kind of freaky for a late Saturday evening, but 
we just kind of had a brain fart. Oh my God, there's that van. So if you get anybody can help, I know the FBI is looking for all the help they can get onto the case. Asked. The family says this is in the Spread Creek Dispersed Camp area of the park. Here are the photos the police provided to us of the van where it is now at the Northport Police Department. This is the van itself now. Um, also, what's Asshole. fucking nuts is like they have uh, some responses. And the back van door was open and then closed upon them driving up to it. The zoomed in and slowed way down so you can see the back door closed as they approach. I don't know about that part, but this is crazy. Those are sandals. Love the streams, Hassan Hassel. You made my world be way better. Those do look like those do be looking like sandals. And that is the same hat. But also, I don't know where, I don't know where the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Like where this puts them? Like, I don't know if August 27th is like before she went missing or if it's after she meant, uh, she meant, she went missing. That Twitter name is astrology Lamau. Wait, where? Astrology Academy. Oh my God. Oh, well, see, there you go, dude. You can't be fast. We actually weren't able to find any sites and we ended up driving back through solid again, but here Wait, he is what? on the left. So, and I slowed it down so you can, was that door open? Like, I can't tell. I'm going to look at it again. Okay. We're going to look at it closely. We actually weren't able to find any site. No, right. That, that black bar that you see in the middle. That is just simply uh, the ladder, I think. I think people are mistaking the ladder for- Last, We actually weren't able to find any sites and we ended up driving back through solid oh. again. But Wait, here what? on the left, so. And I slowed it down so you can possibly see it a little bit better. No, I think it's just the ladder. I think people think uh, that it's like- Kind of freaky door. for a late Saturday evening, <laughs> but we just kind of had a brain fart. Oh my God, there's that van, so. Okay, let's get back to JB to brian enton again follow him on news nation follow him on air and online bro that's that is not the guy found, i think that's just like has not been revealed and they won't say if it was a man or a woman let's let's break down, Get to the let's presser, break down some JB. Of the questions that are going to be asked in this press conference give you a little bit of a primer Get to the fucking to, presser, uh, jb uh, shut of up course, the first questions are going to be and and what will what we anticipate happening here is an announcement being made and then a question and answer period and we hope to find out whether or not the body that was found here today during the search in Grand Teton National Park, whether or not that was Gabby Petito or based on, of course, preliminary results here, if they believe that. Oh, never mind. Gabby that guy Petito. was just testing the microphone. God damn it, dude. I can't believe I, I can't believe I thought JB would be unprofessional enough to Three speak over fast. a fucking live video when it's going on. That's just me. That's me behavior. That's Hasanabi behavior. JB would literally never do that. It was just a fucking microphone tester guy. And like, obviously, you know, JB is a friend, uh, is a friend of the working class. So like, you know, he probably does believe that the microphone tester guy has a lot of important things to say. But right now, JB is making up, uh, you know, he, he's trying to use the time. He's trying to, he's trying to use as he's much time as he possibly check. can to like, you know, uh, let out as much information as possible. The there. What condition was the body in? Was there an attempt to cover up the body? Was there an attempt um, to to conceal it? No, um, was it found near? Uh, Lord, this is courtesy of, and make sure I have this right, Jen Bethune, Red, White, and Bethune. Big thank you to them for providing us with this video. And this is the video that they found um, on, and I want to make sure that I have the date here correct. Uh, August 27th is when they believe that this video was shot. And this is a massive clue. Now, based on the video here, the video shows us a, uh, what does the video show us? The video shows us a van here parked off. This, this is Grand Teton National Park, a video uh, excuse me, a van here that was parked on the left side of the road here. Kind of an odd spot to be parked. People on Reddit and TikTok have been combing through this video to determine 
whether or not this is in fact it's hard you can't see too well if it's florida plates but trying to comb through and determine whether or not this is in fact the laundry and petito vehicle and then also too people have been combing through the background of this video trying to figure out uh exactly uh what what they can see and there's a lot of people trying to enhance this video on reddit and on tiktok wait a minute I might, I might have juiced the audio. Good afternoon. My name is Charles Jones. I'm the supervisory senior resident agent um, here in Wyoming for FBI Denver. Standing with me here today are Acting Chief Ranger Matt Wilbur with the National Park Service, um, Hunter Bailey, who is Chief of the National Park Service Investigative Services Branch. Um, we also have Teton County Sheriff Matt Carr and Jackson, Jackson Police Chief Michelle Weber. First and foremost, on behalf of the FBI personnel and our partners, I would like to extend sincere and heartfelt condolences to Gabby's family, Joe and Tara Petito and Jim and Nicole Schmidt. As every parent can imagine, this is an incredibly difficult time for the family. As you are aware, FBI personnel, in coordination with our partners at National Park Service, the Forest Service- I mean, he said the more the loss Sheriff's of the daughter is over. Jackson Police Department, have been conducting an investigative activity in the vicinity of the Spread Creek um, dispersed camping area. Earlier today, human remains were discovered, consistent with the description of Gabrielle Gabby Petito. Full forensic identification has not been completed to confirm 100% that we found Gabby, but her family has been notified of this discovery. The cause of death has not been determined at this time. We appreciate your continued support and patience as we work through this process. The vicinity around Spread Creek campsite will remain closed to the public until further notice. This is an active and ongoing investigation, so we ask everyone maintain distance from law enforcement personnel and equipment, vehicles and related activity for their own safety, as well as to protect the integrity of our work and respect privacy for Gabby's family. We appreciate the tremendous support from the public uh, the support from the public's response to request of tips so has been is remarkable. We continue to seek information from anyone who utilized the Spread Creek dispersed camping area between the dates of August 27th and August 30th. The fact that they let Brian anyone go and was, and he wasn't under like round the clock surveillance is psychotic to me. I don't know. In that area. Please share any new information with the FBI at tips. Like, I'm not saying I'm not saying arrest him immediately, right? FBI. Like, because, you know, finally, there is a little thing called the law and you can't do that. But like, at least surveil him a little bit. What the fuck? Photos and videos can also be uploaded at FBI.gov backslash Petito. The U.S. Forest Service. Yeah, Teton he could County still Sheriff's be innocent. Office, Very Jackson unlikely, but he could be innocent. Collaboration and diligence the only in problem here is that he was still seen as a uh, as the leading a like short he was seen as a prime not suspect but like intimate, a person of interest of the rugged terrain that we're dealing with um, which made this process much more difficult in order to protect our investigative process and increase probability of successful prosecution should it be necessary we have no additional comments we appreciate your cooperation and respect for gabby's family loved ones um, during this uh, difficult time thank you like, I understand why you don't just, like, fucking throw the dude in jail and throw the key away, okay? Like, we are a nation of laws, okay? You can't fucking do that, right? Because, like, it's technically a missing ca person's case right now. Until this very moment, it was considered a missing person's case. Now it's a murder investigation. So, obviously, like, there are rules that you need to fucking follow. And uh, despite the fact that the dude was, like, insanely suspicious, I mean, in every fucking uh, sense of the word... Like, there is a reason why that you can't just, like, you know, there's a reason why you can't just, like, fucking drop uh, everything and, and just, you know. Authorities at Grand Teton National Park. Oh, I want to see. A body matching Gabby Petito's description found by hard working search members here today, Sunday, September 19th, 2021. And Gabby Petito's family has been informed of the tragic news. Hey there, folks. J.B. Buno here with you live on WFLA Now. That's 6 o'clock. Presser um, was, was difficult for even members of law enforcement to deliver the news here, uh, the news that we have all been fearing now for, uh, for the last almost week of this story.
uh, every single solitary um, person that I spoke to personally off the clock when I talked to them about this story. When I told them the details, uh, when the story began to first gain traction Monday, Tuesday of, of last week, when I talked to them and I said, this was a, a couple that went, an engaged couple that went on a cross-country road trip. They were together and they made it all the way from your posting on social media, all the way through to Wyoming, to Utah, to that area of the country. And then the social media trail of breadcrumbs went cold. And Brian returned to the Tampa Bay area to Northport, Florida with her van and Gabby was missing and Gabby was not part of that trip back here to Florida. The most common response that I got was, this doesn't feel right. That's not good. This doesn't add up. This stinks. That was the, the response that I got. And as the story progressed over the week, the situation just, it, it got worse. The video came out from Stay Utah strong. Stay strong, Brian. That there was a domestic Stay strong, call JB. And that the police here wanted to see if Gabby was safe. During this moment, investigators are talking to Gabby about her well-being and what to do, but also trying to figure out exactly what happened. Brian, as we get in some stray audio here, let me just kind of take care of that. Take care of that, Brian JB. Had scratches on his face. Gabby, clearly distraught here. Something just wasn't right between this between this couple. We had there have been people examining. How did this become a moment? Uh, telegenic, pretty uh, white couple. Uh, both of them are like attractive. White girl goes missing. They documented a lot of their stuff. Everybody loves true crime. Uh, the dude that like very, the dude that's like high key very likely did it. Does the most suspicious shit you can do. Apparently there's a, there's actually a fucking thing called like white, uh, like white woman syndrome or something like in the media when there's like a missing case for like a pretty white girl, there's always a lot of coverage over it. Like, I mean, that doesn't, by the way, that doesn't mean that this is not missing white woman syndrome. Yeah. That doesn't mean that this is not like an important Let's story. Of course it is. But you know, I mean, every missing person story is, is, is devastating. You just don't give a shit when it happens to sex workers. You don't give a shit when it happens to like black women. You don't give a shit when it happens to trans people. Uh, it's just like it's happening regularly all around us. But the real reason why this is like a national story is because it's a pretty white girl uh, who's from like a upper middle class family. And now it's, um, you know. So they came up here. They gave us uh, their information. We were told we are not allowed to ask questions and they left and they were in and out. And so um, it, it's just really heartbreaking news. When we watch JCS, you always said, always get a lawyer a first. Yeah, when you're suspicious or, or when you're the criminal, yes. I tell you like, always get a lawyer first. Even if you didn't do the crime, always get a lawyer. But also I'm helping you do the crime in that situation, so okay? So that's one. So yeah, if he did the crime, yeah, he did the right thing, but he still did the fucking crime. He did the right thing for self-preservation, but he still did the crime. And also on top of that, this fucking asshole lawyered up before he even revealed that uh, Gabby Petito was missing, okay? He lawyered the fuck up. He left this person behind, no one knows where or how, drove the fucking van that they bought together that's like functionally her van, back to fucking Florida, lawyered up, and then the family actually said, yeah, Gabby Petito is missing. Like he didn't even fucking come out and was like saying that she was missing. So, you know, he did like literally every bad thing you can do. That is not and he's also missing himself now. He's on the lam. Of course, at the center of this story are the families that we're talking about here. We're talking about, we're talking now, now we'll talk about the laundry family here in just a moment. But we're not. Oh, we'll talk the, about them. The, all right, the, he I, said. We've been talking about this story for way too long. We are not moving on to the laundry aspect of this story until we give Gabby what she deserves. Isn't broadcasting this playing longer. into MWWS and white supremacy broadly? Dude, you asked Gabby this question before, and, family, and like, and I don't know how to Gabby. fucking answer you, dude. Like, it's right, such laundry, a psychotic fucking take to think that like I'm advancing white supremacy. Because like, uh, 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 like, what do you want me to do? Like, not care? You want me to just be like, dude, yeah, who gives a fuck? You know, people go missing every day. Like, it's one of the most psychotic fucking takes.
that like a Twitch channel is actually, uh, you know, promoting white supremacy because we're like fascinated by a fucking true crime story that is unfolding right in front of our eyes. Like you, you, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with your brain, dude. I swear to God. It's just like an insane take. They've flown to Wyoming. They have flown down here to Florida. Damn, JB is like fucking Sorry. crying. They, they're doing, they have done countless interviews. I'm Why not cover a black right woman missing instead? You only care about her because she's pretty and white, dude. You guys are fucking right. deranged, dude. Like literally fucking deranged. Like actually... Actually, just like the most deranged people. Oh, this dude's name is Soy Mongol. What the fuck? I mean, he's probably a fucking psycho. Five months of hot takes. Fucking 4chan Groiper over here. BIPOC designation is one founded on exclusion. Please don't fucking associate with these idiots in the movement. Why not cover a black woman that's missing instead? You're only caring about this core story because she's pretty and white. It's a true crime story that is like unfolding. It's like, you know, it's a matter of public interest. People right, are, let's, let's, it. um, let's, let's bring up some of the, you made um, your chat race some obsessed the, some of the comments. again, another fucking idiotic take. How am, if, if, if I am responsible for my chat, don't you recognize that? Like me being like, stop being a fucking psychopath is actually me cleaning up chats behavior. Or are you just more focused on like uh, making idiotic assumptions and being uh, and and trying to think that you're in the right? Anyway, also race obsessed it. is the biggest fucking self-report take you can ever have, dude. What public is she of interest to? Public that likes to watch true crime uh, unfold in front of their eyes. Is that a good uh, is that a good answer for you, dumbass? Like go consume more morally righteous content, dude. Just turn it off right now. Just go read Dust Capital, okay? Like seriously. Just here, Dapper Alexander, I helped you along the way. I, I permanently ban you. Any other chatters want that? For the record, Hassan went into this topic knowing this to begin with. I literally mentioned it like three times. I mentioned it so many fucking times, like missing white women's syndrome. Like even before I knew that there was a terminology for it called missing white women's syndrome. Let's I literally came, in, I came into the subject saying, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is a horrible thing, but horrible things happen all the fucking time. But the real reason why everybody cares about this is because like, you know, this is a, a, a telegenic, uh, this is a telegenic story. Uh, and, and that's precisely why there's a lot of, there's a lot of fucking media attention on this because, you know, this is a person that's missing, but also, uh, you know, on top of that, they're, they're vloggers. They have a lot of video, uh, there, there's a lot of like elements in the story, including her being like a pretty white girl, uh, that factors into this. And that's it. That's like, that's what it is to digest and we're going to do it here together um you don't you, I, I never met this girl and if this type of story had occurred 30 40 years ago maybe this type of a response wouldn't wouldn't be in me but you enough you watch enough youtube videos this is a 2021 story in that you watch enough youtube videos instagram clips you see enough pictures and, and, you, and you feel, you, you feel, and I'm sure the people out, out there are thinking the same thing. You, you feel like you, you knew a little bit about who Gabby was. No one knows more than the Gabby Petito family and those closest to Gabby. But just, she was a free spirit as we understand it. Um, she was somebody that loved to go on adventures. She was somebody who, who, was, who was magnetic and um and, and loved and loved sharing her experiences with the world and uh, yeah the funniest thing is like uh, while this no, was going on i talked about indigenous had women that had gone the missing road. a sex worker that was uh, that had gone them. missing and, but like and, everybody uh, only comes in here and be like it, it just to say like ah black women go missing every day and you're not covering them you white supremacists meanwhile like you literally don't have a fucking separate story you're gonna google it right now to prove a fucking point you're literally going to google it right now to prove a point you had no idea if there were other people that were missing you are just going to google it there are actually indigenous folks in my fucking chat that straight up sent me uh uh links and and shit that we talked about before but you right now motherfucker you are just coming up with it right now because you want to fucking win a goddamn argument 
That's how little you give a fuck was, was about the worst, uh, other uh, uh, other people going missing. That's how little you give a fuck about black women going missing. That you are straight up going to Google it now just to fucking write it in the chat to be like, this person's gone missing. You didn't cover it. But now that's how little you care because all all this is to you is just an argument on the internet. So let's just take a moment here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we'll step away Good job. for 90 seconds. It's so fucking silly. Like, it, it's such a dumb thing. Not to be on men's rights or anything, but she admitted to assaulting him, meaning there was already a history of violence in the relationship, and the cops were like, well, I don't think she meant it, and let her go. No way the guy would have gone away, gotten away with it, but women often do, which led her in the situation where violence was already present. What the fuck? Dude, you are such a psycho, dude. That's what your takeaway is, that, like, she kick-started the violence. That's why she's murdered now? Like, because she fucking kick-started the... Dude, I don't care about the moment of silence that JB Buno is, is posting for Gabby Petito, okay? The fuck? I don't give a shit that he wants to do a moment of silence. I'm going to do coverage, okay? Shut up. Yeah, that was a psychopathic take. I'm an indigenous chatter that's been around for a few months. And honestly, you've talked more about indigenous people in NA and other minority rights than any of these other non-native streamers I've seen on the platform. Jesus Christ, dude. What makes me so mad about the media's obsessive coverage of this is that I had no idea about the police gangs until like Gravel Institute video. The story is sad, but it infuriates me how the media masturbates to this kind of content. Yes, the media personally operates in a way where they care about profits. They care about fucking ratings. This is, like I said, this is like a high rating story. This is something that people are going to care about. You care about it. Look at that. There's 38,000 people in this fucking chat right now on a Sunday afternoon because everyone is fucking trying to figure it out. Everyone wants to know what the fuck's going on. Okay? That's just the reality. JB Buno here with you live on, on All right, get now. Back to uh, us, I've been JB. reading through some of the comments. Uh, tell me, here in tell the last us how it is, minutes. JB. For, for being here with us. Uh, we've been, uh, that was a moment of silence for Gabby Petito and, and a moment just to, a moment of reflection for everyone, uh, a moment where we can just say, you know, send some prayers for the Petito family, um, a family that, uh, that just wanted to find their daughter. They did, but not in the way that they, that they had originally hoped. Um, we've gotten in, in the last several moments, we've gotten in some updates that we're going to get to, um, just, just first here, before we do that, uh, just a couple, uh, a couple of comments, uh, that will animate here on screen. You can use hashtag hey JB. That's the only way that we animate comments on screen so that if you don't want your, your name and your, and whatever your account profile picture is. So this is video that we just got in. Let me make sure that I attribute this video properly. Very important to give um, the proper what credit here to those who uh, who shot this video. And this is from, and I'll make sure I have this right here. He does proper. I thought I had it right up here on one of my screens. He does proper attribution, dude. Here. This is from KSL. KSL Chopper 5. Uh, this was where um, the, the body of Gabby Petito or the body again. We, we have to, we have to continue to repeat this now. I will never do proper attribution stage of the, because I'm a fucking of piece of shit in and, and the identity process Eight here, months, but a body matching Gabby so Petito's description um, has been, uh, has been found here in this location, but it's enough of a match preliminarily to contact the Petito family and inform them what has happened. These were the search efforts that were underway here today, and this is where they found a body. This video has been screened here. Um, the video has been screened. My man gave um, the attributions down to the fucking name of the chopper, bro. He gave the uh, credit to, sure, to the vehicle. Course, we're not showing anything that we're not supposed to. But let me just say this. Before we take more of your hashtag HJB comments, and now we carry this conversation forward into um, a man's name here that I'm going to start saying over and over again here bro. in a few minutes. I don't know if this is his first news story, but like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, dude. You can probably notice like the difference in coverage between me and JB. Five months. But like, I've covered so many fucking stories like this and, and like endless amounts of fucking death and destruction that like, but he is like distraught by this shit. I'm like, no, I, we're going to move on to the next murder tomorrow. And I'm, I'm actually shocked at how like dramatic his uh, telling of the events are. I mean, and the story is, uh, the story is really fucking shitty. It's, it's horrible, but God damn, dude, like I'm fucking broken, dude. This is how you're supposed to normally act. I think I'm just, I'm so broken. No, it's not JCS chat. I've been fucking covering. I've been covering the worst shit on the planet every single fucking day for the past like eight years, dude, every single day. Like racist attacks, 
Yo, shout out to my offline. Like police brutality, kiss. missing people, dead people. Crazy. It's been an exhausting week. And they've been searching. They were searching all day yesterday, all day today. And we can only Maybe hope. Maybe because you don't have kids? This, Wait, you think JB has this kids? This news is, um, is I, I would imagine, I'll just say this. I, I would imagine that this news reaches the ears of Florida law enforcement here. And they're going to want that they're, all the search efforts. This has been a grueling search in Myakkahatchee in rural Sarasota. We can only hope now that this kicks them in and provide kicks them into a, a whole nother gear. Not that they needed a whole nother gear, but provides them with, with an extra jolt of motivation here uh, to, to find, uh, to find Brian. Yeah, how dare you say I don't have fucking kids? I got 30,000 kids, bro. What the fuck? But let's hope that they, that they are um, reinvigorated here tonight because they want to do what they can for the Petito family and, and, and bring this to, to justice, bring this story to justice. All right, it's time to do a more thorough discussion here on, on what we know, what we don't know, and on Brian Laundry here. Okay, so let's, let's now start, let's get into this here. Let's talk about Brian Laundry. Nothing has changed as of this time with Brian Laundry. He is still a missing person. He is still a person of interest and a missing person. He is not a suspect at this time. Yeah, right. That could change. An examination of the body, an examination of the area where the body was found, the autopsy, all of this is going to be conducted now to determine whether or not there's any evidence in Wyoming that Brian Laundry can be officially labeled as a suspect. Right now, this is a missing person search. I mean, How they're right. He's right, right but like, manhunt. I mean, he's sus as fuck. At this time, I want to reiterate this. At, uh, I, some very strong worded comments for Brian Laundry here in the comment section. But we have to we have to report it as is. And right now, Brian Laundry, and we don't. This could change it with a tweet in five seconds. But right now, Brian Laundry is a person of interest in a missing persons case. So if they were to find him at this moment, at this time, he can't be charged with a crime until they say that he can be charged with a crime because they have evidence to justify the char the, 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 the crime being, uh, being, of course, charged against him. So that's where we are with this. So now that we kind of got that out of the way, let's talk about what we don't know and what we do know. We don't know the cause of death. We don't know the condition that the body was found in. We don't know what kind of evidence was found with the body. We don't know if there was an attempt to conceal the body. We don't know if the body was found at the bottom of a ravine. We don't know if the Set body was found in a shallow like grave. We don't know if the body was found under a blanket. Um, or we don't, we don't, I don't want to go into the gruesome details, but we don't know what condition the body was found in. Fucking chill, bro. Out of respect for, for the Petito family, of course. We don't know the condition that the body was found in. So um, this is all now... Um, uh, process a process it's a process that uh, i think that a lot of folks would hope dearly hope would, would be isn't would being a person of interest in fleeing months. some sort of crime so no when my brain starts to rot? i mean i think they can they can hit him with obstruction of justice or i think they can hit him with obstru obstruction of justice now or not even probably not even because he's not first of all it wasn't a murder case it's still not a murder case, technically, but let's be fucking real. Like, it, it looks like it. That's number one. Number two, when there's no body, there's no, there's no murder. When there's no murder, there's no suspect. You understand? So now there's a body. Now we need to find out if it's a murder. Or, like, you know, go beyond just our suspicions that it's a murder. Then afterwards, depending on how the body, uh, you know, passed away, then we figure out if there's actually a fucking suspect, like a murder suspect. And most likely it's Brian, okay? But those are the processes that you need. Clearly they're saying he's not a suspect, so if he is... 
A lot of people come forward willingly? Yeah, no. I don't think so. Extra time necessary and put a button on this to the point where they are 100% confident that the person responsible for this gets put away for as long as necessary. So there's a process now that has to be followed. So, Like, I get what you're saying. You're saying the cops are to, saying he's not a suspect, so he comes forward willingly. Want to rush to near this process but, like, he, he is, everyone with the brain thinks he's the suspect, so. So, we do, so the law enforcement here, they, they have this correct and right and done by the book. I, I, know, I, know, here, um, I know here that there are, uh, that there are folks um, who are, are joining us here that are, that are um, just finding us here. We had a moment of silence earlier for Gabby Abby Petito. And, and these images here, um, uh, what, I, uh, what I think now what we're going to do is, what, what I think now what we're going to do is, we're gonna, um, we've been showing this video enough. Can we not all agree? And our system here, our video system here, just kind of immediately goes into autoplay mode. So what I think what we're going to do here, folks, is uh, we're going to put away this video for, for unless we need it later. We're going to put away this video here yeah, put it for, away. for a while. And what we're going to do is we're going to kind of freeze it right here on, on Gabby's image. Let's go, let's go back to the image here, and we're just going to freeze it. I want to remember Gabby this way. Let's Bro, do this what first. is happening? I'm going to just freeze this this and and instead of video playing here and all that auto feed video, let's do that. Um, well, let's get to some of the questions and some of the comments that are coming in here um, on on Facebook Live and Twitter. On all right, JB's being a little weird right now. Okay, just a little weird. I feel like I don't know if he's playing into it. I feel like this is a little irresponsible. Either it's me or just JB sounds very weird like he's into her. I don't know. He was crying earlier, dude. I don't know. I mean, he was. He was literally crying. He did a fucking, you know, he did a moment of silence. This shows how far the body was from the van in the video. Location marked off forest where the van was. Coordinates are where Gabby Petito's body was found. Now everyone needs to shut the fuck up about Brian's possible innocence. There ain't any. You think this is his first missing person in murder case as a reporter? He admitted he watched all her YouTube videos? Jesus Christ, dude. What the fuck? Um, uh, Brian is the focal. Pull it together, JB. Can Despite not being named a suspect, Brian? being a person of interest, my stream like um, him going missing this week. Uh, certainly adds up. Uh, two plus two equals four. And I, I think that it's pretty fair to say right now that Brian is the, is the primary and, and in some estimations the, the sole focus right now of the investigation here in Florida. Yeah, a lot of questions about Brian's parents. Jasmine Sue, hashtag AJB. I hope Brian's parents come forward and speak about what they know. Brian's parents have the same exact constitutional rights as myself, as you watching at home, and as Brian Laundry if he's wandering in the woods. The right to remain silent. And the fact is that anything that you say can and will be used against you Jamie in a court of law. <laughs> time after and so Brian's parents, at this stage now, I would, would, it would be a, a, a significant turn for them to start talking now, given what has happened. At Hassanabai, Hassi, so Jasmine here is hoping that the Laundry family's conscience comes into play here. But that's, hold on a second though. We, we, we can't, we can't jump from A to C without talking about B. And B is this in that equation. You're assuming that Brian's family knows something. Brian's family might not know something. That scenario is still within what I call the realm of possible. There is a scenario where Brian comes back. Bro, he's going says he got into a walls. fight with Gabby on the road. Uh, they got separated, and he returned home, and he doesn't know what His happened. His coverage to is him. insane right now, dude. There's also that scenario here, still within the realm of possible, that they got into a fight 
they got separated and something. Motherfuckers will say kind of weird, JB. Bro, I I get this fucking Everyone's mad about like head, systemic injustice. I, I, I can feel it through the camera lens. I I, I feel it. JB, the, come on, no way. It's got to be Brian. Also, but I'm not at a fucking of where we local are, news anchor. Zero evidence that connects Brian Laundry to Gabby Petito's death, and we can now say not disappearance, but death. Zero evidence that could change in a matter of minutes, hours, or days. However, at this time. Gabby is dead, and her fiancé is a missing persons case. And until that they have something to charge him with, you know, people saying, I, you know, I hope Brian's parents come forward and, and speak. What if they have nothing to speak about? Or what if they have nothing to speak regarding how Gabby lost her life? Again, apologies for the hoarse voice. It keeps cracking, but it's been a long day of streaming. It's been a long week of streaming, and it's just taking a toll on the vocal cords here, folks. Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do here, folks. Uh, we have to, it is very difficult here on a Sunday night. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to step away for 60 seconds, 60 seconds. I want everyone to file in their hashtag HJB hey comments, whether you want to pass along a prayer for Gabby, a prayer for the Petito family, whether or not you want to make a point about anything I just said, whether or not you want to make a point about Brian Laundry, whether or not you want to give some words of encouragement to Florida law enforcement that is searching for Brian right now at this hour, use hashtag HJB hey here. Uh, it's uh, with the size of our audience. He's leaving right now to go find Brian in the woods, bro. <clears throat> Yo, this is crazy. Like, this motherfucker's like, I'm going to be outside of Brian Laundry's house in, se in 50 minutes. Yo, how about you fucking stay home, dude? Like, what are you going to do, dude? Harass the fucking family with a camera? Like, you're going to find him with your camera? <laughs> this dude almost cries about some person he doesn't know while you laugh at a chatter saying, at least Sean Hannity doesn't burp in the mic. Two different worlds. Wait, missing white woman syndrome is actually a real thing? Bro, we're literally experiencing it. What the fuck are you talking about? We don't know what happened to Gabby. We don't know if her fiance is involved. It's so easy to jump to conclusions. But we have a responsibility here. I have a responsibility. And the job that I do, <laughs> I have a responsibility for all of you to, yes, to, to have a frank conversation with you based on what we know and what we don't know, but also to tell it as it is. And to tell it as it is right now, this is not yet a homicide investigation until we are told by authorities in Wyoming, in Northwest Wyoming. Um, we believe that something terrible happened to Gabby. We believe. We don't know. And so we'll find out, hopefully, sooner rather than later, what happened to Gabby. But this is not a homicide investigation at this time. And, um, and Brian Laundrie, her fiance, is a person of interest who is missing and has not been charged with a crime and has invoked his constitutional right to remain silent. And we don't know where he is. Let's get to um, some of the comments that are coming in here. You can use let's, uh, new digital audience. And if you've been here with us now for an hour, you are very sick of hearing me say this, but I have to because people scroll on their... All right, we're done with this. Um... Hassan, come out. Show the people. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the oh, slow bro. kid in a phys ed class, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're about to get destroyed in dodgeball. <laughs> 